All right, okay, I am back. All right, after that lovely crash at the site, this will be a split episode. Of course, you have already seen episode B split. By the time this gets on YouTube, but you know. Just now, here in the moment, I decided this episode will be split when I edit it for YouTube. <clears throat> right, let's hope the crash does not happen again. So let's just get to business then. How's it going? I'm just gonna cut to the chase and just go where I'm supposed to go. Let's not waste too much time. Wasting a lot of time loitering, you know? You know? <coughs> Alright then. Hey Phantom, how's it going? You doing good? Or are you embarrassed about your haircut? Don't be. Nice screeches of the damned right here. Alright. Alright then. Resuming where we left off. Time for the dreaded moment. Turning off the power. Now this is where shit gets real. The flashing lights kind of add to the omin ominousness. Hey dude, you better stay there. It's not worth the effort. It's alright, it's time for shit to go down. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I forgot about that one. <sighs> alright, well, if that was bad, it only gets worse from here. Because now. Well, it's not quite yet. Because now. They're awake. They're waking up. But also... Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, it saved me right here. Okay. I did that wrong. <clears throat> right, I learned a little trick you can do here. It says, because since you can pick these guys up... No. No. You go back there. If you do it right, you can get them stuck behind this partition. Also, doing it right... Can I just stick you through the portal? Yeah. Uh... Oh, sh I hope... I hope Cam didn't fix that. Okay. So... Oh, hi. Right, you're next. Hello. Oh, phew. Shoot, you got over the partition. Okay, right, I need to... Maybe I should move my portal away from the, the partition. Make that work better. <clears throat> Put it there. Out there. That seems good. <clears throat> right. So, you don't need to do this. I think that the intent is very much that you actually run around them. But also, you can do this. Try... Try and make your time slightly easier as long as I don't figure out the partition. Okay, come up, kind of cornery. I know you're there. Okay, come here. Okay, don't please don't get over the partition. Oh no, you made it over. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, just try to run for it. You don't, you'll never take me alive. You'll never take me alive, coppers. You won't. If I want to get close the door. Then there's these clowns. They are in the way. Uh oh. Shit. That's not good. Okay. Oh, I. Uh, oh, I crapped you. Okay. Shit. I was trying to. I was trying to throw him over the desk. Okay, that was supposed to happen. So it was all just a dream. Weird. I've merged with the chair even further, it seems. Now I should actually leave the office this time and get some rest. I certainly could use some rest after that whole experience. <clears throat> Is this the same door configuration I left the office in? Yeah, because these guys are back here. It was all just a nightmare. Surely it was all just a nightmare, right? 
is all just a nightmare. <coughs> Only a nightmare. Only a nightmare, which is why we still have the key card. So is this... It still says the same thing. Okay. Right. It's only a nightmare, but we still have the card. It's because... Prom Actually, what happens if I go back... I see my portals. Wait a minute. That's not right. Oh, I just can't open the door. I see my portals over there, which is not correct. If it was a dream, my portals would be gone as well. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Why is that a sign that's centered? That's weird. Okay, just, just get me on out of here. Alright then. Let's head home. <clears throat> I like that you use some of the Half-Life 2 car noises there. Anyways, we're here at... Are we Jerry? Are we trying to Jerry? We're here, we're here at Jerry's home. Hmm. Lovely. I should get, go get in bed and take a rest. Yeah, I should. Hmm. Jerry's house. What is this supposed to be? Is a giant technical to a milk carton? <laughs> oh, I got an email. Did this end the map? Hopefully not. Let's see here. Well, oh, I can't... I can't interact with it. Can I see what that says? I can't get close enough to see what it says. Can't open that door. It is a weird living room. Have I explored Jerry's house before? Last time I played? I don't remember. It doesn't feel like I have. Although it's really ominous that's still playing the facility soundscapes right now. <laughs> nice faucets. Why are you dropping your clipping documents in the toilet? That's not proper. Put them in the trash bin. Or the shredder. <laughs> so that's... I presume that's Jerry's bed. No, that's Jerry's bed. And who sleeps here? It's Jerry's wife, Jerry's roommate, Jerry's friend. <clears throat> Got the cool potato project. Potato project. Potato project. I think the next story trigger is in the bedroom there. I, want, I kind of want to see if I can see what it says. So it's here. Pew. Uh, it's it's Miles' proposal email. I see. So do we do we room with Ted? Is that what's happening here? We room with Ted. Oh, I can go in Jerry's bathroom. Lovely tub. We got a private room toilet. All right then. Let's get to bed. Some weird curtains you got here. What are these? These custom models? You can use a Portal 2 texture, maybe? In the closet. Lovely. Okay. I'll keep this by my bed, just in case. The Half-Life 2 revolver. Let's get to sleep. sleep though because my bedroom exists in another dimension yeah this isn't quite right is it something's wrong something's very wrong with Sherry's bedroom it seems you've like suddenly entered the Sims but the outside world hasn't loaded that's concerning can 
I go in the bathroom? I can't go in the bathroom. All we can do is leave. I know, I know how Allison did that, but the effect was really cool. I know how they did this, but the effect of it was really cool. Because you have the same props on both sides of the portal. That was a world portal. You put the same props on both sides, that's how you do it. It's simple, but it's really cool. It's Jerry's bedroom out here in the Aperture parking lot. Oh, revolvers removed. What does this say? To anyone who finds this, I'm sorry. The black mannequin won't leave me alone. I have my revolver in the building, and I think I'm finally awake after this nightmare. I hate the prank, I hate my job, and I hate my co-workers, I hate it all. Just end it, please. Running from your demons won't work when they know how to follow you. And when they've killed you, they're more like me than I realized. We both have the same intent. I'm starting to wonder if they are me. Now, this is a very sensitive subject matter, and I won't make any jokes about it. Now, I've never personally known anyone who had any sort of life issues like this, but you know. To anyone out there watching this video who might feel that way, I hope someday you may feel better. I hope you get your happy ending. That said, though, I know Jerry is not going to get that happy ending. So, before we step inside Aperture, which is a very nice building here, take a quick look around our interdimensional property here. This is the invisible wall. It is, but it's, it's slightly more inset than I would have expected. With the crumbling noises in the background, it does kind of sound like reality is crumbling apart, it seems. Because, you know, you can see that happening here. Oh, there's an invisible wall. You can't... you can't throw yourself into the void. Okay, then. Back to work we go. Yeah, imagine if you had lucid dreams, but it's the only place you could go to. That would be depressing. <sighs> Here's the use of that model. You're about to fall out. Okay. Oh. Well, that's weird. You use the regular door model as a mechanical sliding door. Oh, this texture is actually slightly easier to read without the bump maps on. So now you can read this too. There's nothing of interest written here. Okay. Alright then. Very large tile floor. Thank you for not loitering for 20 minutes. Thank you for keeping our enriching spheres clean. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Thank you for not killing more than 20 men.
copyrighted music, which I'm stopping right there and then. Ted Ross was found dead in his bed from a gunshot wound to the head. Police are unsure of how this happened, as there was no sign of struggle, no obvious break-in, no suicide note, and no sign of use of the nearby revolver. Until further investigation, please assume the cause of death is suicide, but I kind of link him to the fingerprints found in the facility. An intern, Haley Peterson, was found in an under construction hallway with her neck snapped with the portal gun found near her body. She is the most obvious direct victim of the prank, according to community searches conducted from the police. Evidence of the crime suggests that her death is related to the employee to name Death Ted Dross. Jerry Ryan was found dead with his neck snapped in an office overlooking Factory 88B. Nearby, his laptop was found by the police and he does it for prints. Fingerprints of Ted Ross are discovered on his laptop, as well as a nearby computer that was led, left on, which also had the fingerprints of Tony Gray. A faceless and mangled corpse was found nearby with inside a supply closet, along with a testimony of the face of Tony Gray something. A multitude of other employees, including Miles Shaw, Maxwell Martins, and Alyssa William, were reported missing, but there is no trace of them in the facility. Near the dust, over, or near dust over stuff mannequins were found, with fingerprints of Ted Ross present. They are currently in police custody. Sector AAB maintenance lab is opposite the a further investigation of his congratulations on the complete map series and his camp and the creator has supported to a horror experience. I thank you for your participation and hope we can count you for another round of tests. As long as you keep yourself watching out, there will always be new content waiting for you. Yeah, there's no way I could have read all of that with my voice. Anyways, The Office Prank, a Pool to Horror Experience by Camben, also now known as Alice and Ghost Girl. So yeah, a pretty prolific horror experience in Pool 2 right there. Pretty sure most people who know Pool 2 community know these maps. And they're, pre and they're pretty iconic for that. But yeah, I give it to Cam, Allison. They did really good with the scares there, like, leg legitimately. The scares actually got me towards the end there. It's pretty well damn executed, and it's pretty friggin' scary. You're, at least in the jump scare aspect when you're not expecting it. And again, with the effort of animating the mannequins, that had to have taken a lot of work. So it's impressive. Yeah, what else can I say? So alright then. That was a two-parter. Uh, cut off right there. Next time... We play the impossible map, Nemesis. <sighs> Until then, my name is Anakos Gross, also known as Catching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.